Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Liv. Today we'll be taking a little trip down memory lane. But first, let's head over to news with Maddie. Two men were both shot in the head Thursday night on Oakwood Avenue in Syracuse, New York. Police say the shooting took place near Dr. King Elementary. Both men were in their tw early 20s and both died due to their injuries. Reports also state a third 18-year-old was shot in the shoulder, but he's expected to survive. Yesterday, a group of near 200 people gathered in downtown's Columbus Circle Plaza to call the removal of the long-standing Christopher Columbus statue. The event was hosted by both the women of Italian and Syracuse heritage and neighbors of the Onondaga Nation. They called for an initiative to replace the monument with something that is much more humane and representative of what we want Italian culture to re represent. Hours before, another group had r rallied in the square with efforts to keep the statue standing, even going as far as suing the city for its preservation. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, there will be a video club meeting after school tomorrow. The club makes movies, TV shows, and also attends movies at local theaters. Stop by B14 after school if you are interested. And anyone who wants to play golf next year should meet today after the school in room B14. Just a reminder that school physicals are available for students on October 19th starting at 9.15 a.m. in our health office. Please go to the health office to sign up. School physicals are available for any student free of charge on October 19th. You must sign up with the nurse by October 15th and get the required paperwork. To anyone who likes to play video games, please consider joining ESM Esports Club. There will be a sign-up sheet in the library and our first event will be after school this coming weekend, the 13th. We'll play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you want to know more, feel free to talk to Aiden Buchen or Mrs. Pajan. Chemistry Club will be holding its first meeting on Thursday, October 21st after school in room D5. Any current or former chemistry students are welcome to attend. The agenda will be deciding topics to explore this year. Okay, Josh, I've got a really important question for you and there's only one right answer, so be careful. Were you a Cartoon Network kid or a Disney Channel kid? Disney Kid, obviously. Oh, God. You know what? What's so great about Disney Channel? It feels like a party every day. Hey, Jesse. There you go. There's nothing like coming home from school and just turning on some good old Jesse. See, I'm going to have to disagree with you. One of my favorite shows on Cartoon Network was Chowder. Chowder was this little, like, purple cat, rat, rabbit looking thing. <laughs> You know the best character on that show? Gaspacho. <laughs> yeah, all he ever said was rada, rada, rada. It was the best thing ever. Oh, well, Disney Channel's better. Now um, we're going to weather. We'll go. Today, on Tuesday, we will have a high of 81 and a low of 62 degrees. Today will be very unseasonably warm, almost, almost like we have some summer weather, but other than that, today will be a bit cloudy. Tonight, we'll have a, we'll have a chance for a few brief showers. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and we will have a high of 74 degrees and a low of 57 degrees, and we'll have a chance for some light showers in the morning. And Thursday, we'll have a high of 76 and a low of 59. And Thursday will be cloudy and have some sun here and there. With that, I'm Grayson with your weather. All right, so our next, my next show that I loved on Disney was Dog with a Blog. It was about like a little dog and it had a blog. <laughs> Literally, had a, it wrote his blog <laughs> every night. Um, my favorite show, one of my favorites was Ben 10. Not the new Ben 10, I'm talking the old early 2000s Ben 10. Oh, yeah. Grandpa Max, Gwen, and my favorite character, Kevin Levin. Don't even get me started with Good Luck Charlie and all those kids. 
just filming with the camcorder. Oh my God, there she is. <laughs> There's good luck, Charlie. <laughs> All right, my next show isn't really a show, it's a short. It was my favorite short when I was younger and I really can't explain why. Uh, it's Nacho Bear. It's about a bear who chases around a nacho chip. Uh, nobody else knows what it is, so hopefully one of you that's watching right now knows what I'm talking about. The next, my top favorite besides Jesse is Can't Kiki Waka. <laughs> you just can't go past that on a nice summer night, listen to your Kiki Waka with Ralvi and all of that. All right. We'll be right back, but we're going to go to sports. Listen, personally, I think you guys are leaving out Nickelodeon, but it's whatever. Last night, the Boston Red Sox beat the Tampa Bay Rays 6-5 and advanced to the American League Championship Series. The San Francisco Giants took a 2-1 lead over the Los Angeles Dodgers last night as the Giants won 1-0 off Evan Longoria, Longoria home run. The Los Angeles Chargers defeated the Cleveland Browns in an offense shootout 47 to 42. Quarterback Justin Herbert threw for 390, 398 yards and four touchdowns. The Green Bay Packers barely beat the Cincinnati Bengals 25 to 22 in overtime after three possession changes and two missed game-winning field goals. The Arizona Cardinals remain undefeated after defeating the San Francisco 49ers 17 to 10 and the Raiders head coach John Gruden as resigned from the position after a series of inappropriate and controversial emails of his were leaked. And now, on to Aiden with local sports. The Syracuse Orange lost to Wake Forest 40-37 to in overtime this weekend. The gymnastics team beat Baldwinsville 128-129. to The field hockey team lost 1-0 to Liverpool. The boys soccer team beat Whitesboro 2-0. Joel Alvarez and Evan DeBurgis led the team with one goal, went one goal each, and Todd Durantini and Zach Schufelt both had assists. The football team lost to FM on Friday 49-7. Rocky L. had the only touchdown on offense for the Spartans. Running back and safety Micah Combs led the team in rushing yards with 79, and on defense led the team in tackles with 11. The gymnastics team has a home meet for their senior night at 5.30 against Central Square. The girls varsity soccer team has an away game at 6.30 in Auburn. The boys varsity soccer team plays Auburn at home at 6.30. And I'm Aiden with your sports. All right, I've got to admit, your selection of shows was pretty stolid, but I still think that Cartoon Network with Kids Next Door, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, and especially What's New Scooby-Doo trumps them all. Then I guess we'll agree to disagree. All right, that's all we have for you guys today. So from me, Josh, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday.